guys welcome to all electronics today a quick video here for you to see the sampler working the sampler in action here i'm testing the setup here and you can see that there the output of the sampler a very beautiful signal with more than one volt peak to peak very strong signal that can excite a flip-flop a, a, a frequency divider directly here we can see this, the output of the VCO near 3.33 gigahertz and the input of the mixer the sampler is 107.2 megahertz that will be the fifth harmonic of a 21.45 megahertz crystal I, I'm starting here to test the harmonic crystal oscillator here's the prototype i already show a, this design here on the channel you can see in the channel uh, the video about this harmonic oscillator here overtone oscillator actually is the name uh, this this circuit here is here allow us to run a, cr a crystal in the fifth harmonic so we are going to use a 21.45 crystal to generate 107.2 megahertz that is the input to the sampler here is the sampler so the yellow enters here in this uh, connector here you can see there the balloon we have the let me get here um, only a second yeah uh, here here we have the balloon the step recovered action diode here we have the, you can see the differential structure, is a symmetrical structure. Here we have the Scotchy diode bridge. We have the resistive combiner here. And the output goes to a filter here, an inductor. And it is amplified by the IF amplifier here. Two stage of amplification for the IF. And actually we have also a bias network to bias the scotch diode bridge that I, that I didn't show in the video in the last video I posted so we need to bias also the the bridge so it's so the sensibility is right to open and close the switch the diodes only in the correct timing okay the inputs the input signal from the VCO this actually is not the final VCO is only a prototype this was designed for 5 gigahertz now we need to design a VCO for 3.33 gigahertz. But if I use an over voltage here, a, a, a really high voltage on the supply, I can bring the frequency down near the frequency, the frequency of 3.33 gigahertz. So I'm using this VCO here for testing. The, the output of the VCO goes to this connector here, to the spectrum analyzer, and we also have a directional coupler that's taking a sample of the signal and injecting in the sampler here so we can down convert the signal and you can see that the signal is very strong guys really really strong if I change here the voltage to, to change the frequency you can see that the signal is, is very strong and it will excite directly the phase comparator the flip-flop of the phase comparator of the uh, PLL of this system. I also have here, guys, the frequency tripler. Let's take a look on the frequency tripler here. It's also working, already working. We have the input side here and two amplifiers working uh, saturated with very high amplification. So we get the harmonics, we filter out 10 gigahertz here with this bandpass filter. We amplify it again and we filter a little more to get 10 gigahertz in, at the output here. Uh, here in the input we have some filtering to prevent the second and the third harmonic 6.6 .6 gigahertz and 10 giga and the 10 gigahertz signal to go out in the input port so we need to short the second and the third harmonic here at the input so only the 3.3 gigahertz signal can enter here the first transistor it's difficult to record it here 
what you can see there I need to to improve my flux cleaning my flux cleaning is not good we need to improve it so we can see that the design is uh, a bias T here a 10 gigahertz bias T it bias the transistor and the output of the transistor goes directly to the bandpass filter here it goes directly to the base of the second transistor we have another bias T 10 gigahertz bias T here and the output goes directly to the other the output bandpass filter here to the output I'm using this style of connection here because I do not use connectors I use solder directly the coaxial cable here so I'm using this kind of approach here all these modules will have the cable directly soldered uh, here I'm, I'm only placing connectors so we can I can easily test here on the bench but but the coax, coaxial cable will be soldered directly on the modules and what more we have here here i made uh, an error in the design i forgot i forgot that i was uh, uh, creating a, um, a stub in the connection of the bias here the base bias of the transistor and this stub was resonating exactly in 10 gigahertz uh, killing all almost all the signal at the output so i needed to place a copper tape here and this blob of solder here to make a, a an overall connection here uh, where we don't have this tub action and now we have full power at the output the output here um, has um, almost zero dbm probably this module here would be better made would be better if it was made with a, a, a better um, substrate this is FR4 FR4 is not good for high frequency here in 3 gigahertz it works fine okay the losses are not so high are high but not so high but here for 10 gigahertz I think that would be beneficial to have this module here made with a teflon or a better material for high frequency but this is the material I have I only have FR4 here in the lab so we are making it with F F FR4 zero dBm is is good power for in 10 gigahertz. It's not a little power for 10 gigahertz. 10 gigahertz are very high frequency, and after the the project is completed, we can easily change this module here, make it again in a better substrate. So this is the project, guys. It's starting to work here. You can see more details here of the sampler. Sorry for the mess here. You can see more details here. Power supplies are never enough in the lab. We all always need more power supplies. This is incredible. <laughs> and also we need to make a video about this VNA here. Look at this machine, guys. An analog VNA that has more than 30 years. This unit here is amazing, amazing to use. I will make a video only about this unit here. Let's turn it on so you can see it here. Take a look at this. Let's see where's the trace. There is the trace. Full polar chart made with analog electronics. It's Smith chart with analog electronics. This is incredible. <laughs> Electrical length stretcher here. Stretcher here. You can stretch to compensate for electrical length. Look at these guys. Amazing, 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 amazing. So guys, thank you for watching. Let's do more work here. Now I need to work on the overtone oscillator to generate the 107.2 megahertz for the LO of the sampler, okay? Thank you for watching and I see you in the next video of Autotronics.